Abercrombie & Fitch Batch 46 Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Abercrombie & Fitch Batch 46. Now, I think I got this fragrance like probably in my first five Abercrombie purchases. I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I really like Abercrombie fragrances. They used to be so much better back in the day. When I first started this channel, got into fear, so I just started buying their whole line. Abercrombie at the time would come out with a new fragrance every couple months, so I ended up having tons of fragrances. I would do reviews on all the fragrances and because the fragrances were just kind of so-so and on top of that they weren't as popular as other designers, I just really wasn't getting the views and people didn't really care about them. So there was a point a few years ago where I got rid of all the fragrances that I didn't really like that much and only kept the absolute best. Batch 46 was one of those that I actually kept. I really wish they still offered this one. It is probably one of the most masculine fragrances that I've ever smelled from ANF. And the notes that they list on Fragrantica are musk, black amber, and cedar. In my opinion, what this fragrance smells like is a musky barbershop style scent. I do think that it is somewhat similar to Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. There was a lot of hearsay that this was a copy of Rule 925 Signature Fragrance. And if you guys do not know about that, around the late 2000s, they decided to open up Rule 925, which is basically like Abercrombie & Fitch, but much more expensive. There's a lot of hearsay that Rule 925 was kind of like a retouched up version of Abercrombie & Fitch Woods, and I think they had something called R7, and R7 was supposed to be similar to Ezra Fitch, which makes sense because I really, really like Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. I really, really like Ezra Fitch. For Abercrombie, those were the most mature fragrances that they have. It kind of makes sense that they took away Woods and they took away Ezra Fitch and then retuned them up and basically sold them to Rule 925. Now, I have not smelled the Rule 925. It is something that I've been very, very interested in because I really like Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances. I've bought discontinued Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances and Rule 925 is essentially like Abercrombie & Fitch, but way, way better. And then they have their signature fragrance. So it's like, man, I already like Abercrombie. This is a more expensive version of Abercrombie and I like signature scents, like scents that are right down the middle. So I would absolutely love getting my hands on Rule 925, but I would think that it's gonna be very, very similar to this fragrance. I don't wanna spend a few hundred dollars on it just to get the comparison, but I could totally see this being Rule 925 signature scent. Some situations this is good for, I would say this is okay for the gym. It is a little bit too strong in my opinion. It's got a little bit of a musky barbershop style vibe. So just for the gym, it's probably not the best, but although it's okay. The dates, I would say this is okay for like a daytime date fragrance. That's about as far as it's gonna go though. I think this is a good fragrance for work, not the best thing ever, but I think it's overall pretty good. This is just an everyday hot weather style fragrance right down the middle. Can't really say too much things about it. Doesn't really excel in any one specific area, but if you just had to toss this on and head out the door, I feel like it hits a lot of situations. All right guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very unique. I've smelled a lot of barbershop fragrances. I've smelled a lot of a &F style fragrances and this fragrance is pretty unique. It's kind of hard to put your finger on. It has like a little bit of a tiny bit of sweetness in the background, but overall you would say this is 100% not a sweet fragrance. It has like a barbershop style vibe. It's hard to describe, but it's very full and masculine and kind of borders being like too strong and in your face with being somewhat likable in its own way. And then I also enjoy how masculine it is. In my opinion, this is about 75 to 80% ANF Woods. Uh, Woods and Ezra Fitch were probably the most masculine, typical gentleman style fragrances that Abercrombie had so I just really like how masculine this is it's even more masculine than a lot of their other offerings and then another pro is that it has very 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 good projection I did remember it being a little bit of a higher projector but after I've smelled a bunch of niche fragrances it is just very 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 good like you could probably cut the projection of this by 10 or 20 percent and most people would still think it has good enough projection if I were to go over the cons you know I really can't think of too many it did kind of make me a little bit sad that that a few years ago I was watching, I think it's the guy who does Stay Fresh Productions and he was doing like a top five fragrances that I got rid of. 
and he ended up getting rid of batch 46, which is pretty sad because I would think that most fragrance reviewers, if they had a chance to get this at a, at a reasonable price, I think a lot of people would appreciate this. If I were to give some reasons why I think someone would get rid of this, it isn't the most likable fragrance that I've ever smelled. There is a little bit of a rough in your face, not as likable quality as it could be, but I really like this fragrance for what it does. I like how masculine it is. I just pretty much like it all, but if I had to put a con, it's probably not the most likable, but I really can't think of anything else besides it's probably not gonna be good for winter either. I just don't really have too, too many bad things to say about this one. I actually really wish they kept it in the line, maybe rebranded it because for being such a legendary strong fragrance, like I think that this is, it's weird that it has such a simple presentation and no real character to it but if i were to give it a smell rating i'd give it a solid 8.5 mainly because i really haven't smelled this exact dna in too many other places i'm going to give it 8.5 likability i'm going to give this a 7.5 it's not really not likable but at the same time it's not the most likable thing it's not something that you just put on and everyone's going to love it's not something you just put on and you know for a date things like that i just think it's right down the middle 7.5 and then longevity projection i'm going to give this an 8 to an 8.5 this has very very, very, very good projection. Overall, I think Batch 46 is a good fragrance. I think you can find it on eBay for about $100. Again, it's supposed to copy the Rule 925 signature, apparently, but from everything that I've looked up about Rule 925, the way they describe it, it's almost like they're describing this fragrance. And this fragrance has enough in its DNA that I could see somebody making this like a really expensive fragrance and a really like a signature fragrance for the store. It has that style vibe. But anyways, guys, let me know if you've tried Batch 46. Let me know if you tried Rule 925 Signature. Let me know about all that down below. I love diving into the classic Rule and Abercrombie lure because it was so, so good back in the day. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys. So you guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully I'm going Great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. I've smelled a lot of barbershop fragrances. I've smelled a lot of AF style fragrances, and this fragrance is pretty unique.